15 minute or less lecture series, Human Anatomy, Chapter 9, Joints. There are three kinds of joints structurally. Structurally, there's the fibrous joints, where two bones are connected by dense, irregular connective tissue, very immobile. There's the cartilaginous joints, where the bones are connected by either hyaline cartilage or fiber cartilage. Those tend to be slightly mobile. And then synovial joints. Synovial joints having a joint cavity filled with synovial fluid, and maybe other things. And synovial joints are very movable, the ones that can move. So fibrous joints, little or no movement. Examples include these sutures that uh, form immovable joints between the skull bones. Uh, again, dense irregular connective tissue. There is the desmosomes. These are where ligaments attach certain structures together. They are a little bit further apart than in sutures, but still relatively little movement. And then the interosseous membranes. These are sheets of dense Irregular connective tissue connecting two bones. They allow for a little bit more movement than the other two, but still relatively immobile, just holding them in place. Cartilaginous joints. Uh, there are two main kinds. There's a synchondroses, synchondroses, hyaline cartilage that unites the first rib to the sternum, or the diaphysis with the epiphysis in bones that are growing. Yes, that is the um, epiphyseal plate is what they're talking about. Then there's the symphysis. Uh, this is where you have fibrocartilage discs attaching neighboring bones. Examples is the pubic symphysis attaching to oscoxy or the interverbal discs. Uh, then, of course, the highly movable synovial joints. Synovial joints need a few uh, different structures to be official synovial joints. Besides the bones, of course, you have the articular cartilage that is on the smooth ends of the bones that help to form the joint. You also have the articular capsule, which helps to form the joint cavity. And within the joint cavity is the synovial fluid. Synovial fluid is viscous, helps to reduce friction and movement, and helps to absorb shocks. Um, so here, two bones. You have the uh, articular cartilage. You have the synovial cavity, the uh, articular capsule made up of the fibrous membrane, dense irregular connective tissue and the synovial membrane that produces synovial fluid. All right, other things that can be but are not necessary for synovial joints, some accessory structures include additional ligaments that attach bones to bones, either outside of the articular capsule or inside of the articular capsule. Uh, you can have an articular disc, a little disc of fibrocartilage inside of the articular capsule. Uh, you can have a labrum. A labrum is a bit of fibrocartilage lip that is forming around the bone, usually a socket-like bone that helps to increase contact between the two bones. You also can have little bags filled with fluid called bursa, one bursa, many bursae. So they're little uh, fluid-filled bags, you know, the fluid help to reduce friction. And you can also have tendon sheaths. Tendon sheaths are like bursa, except they wrap around tendons to help protect the tendons from, say, the rough uh, bone they're running against. Most of the joints that we think of are synovial joints, where lots of motion occurs. A few of them are the fibrous joints found in the skull or the tibiofibular disc, skull joint. Uh, we also have the cartilaginous joints, the interverbal discs, the sternocostal uh, connection between the rib one and the sternum, the pubic synthesis. Types of synovial joints, how they move and their structures, there's the plane joints where you have two flat surfaces of two different bones coming together, lying for side to side or back and forth movements. They're referred to as biaxial. Example is the tarsals in the foot, allowing us to invert and evert our foot. Uh, the hinge joints, hinge joints, uh, you have a rounded bone fitting into a depression or um, a cup like structure. Uh, these allow only one kind of movement. So hinge joints are uniaxial. So at the elbow joint, for instance, allows only flexion and extension. You have the pivot joint, where a rounded bone-like structure is fitting into a ring next to another bone. And this allows for a rotational movement, such as between the head of the radius and the radial notch in the ulna, allowing us to supinate and pronate, pivoting around the radius. Uh, condyloid joints. Condyloid joints, you have a smooth, somewhat rounded bone fitting into a depression or bow-like shape of another bone. These are biaxial. Biaxial allows for two kinds of movements, side to side and back and forth, for instance. So in the wrist, you can get abduction and adduction. Saddle joints 
are a little more extreme in shape. So it looks kind of like a saddle with the other bone having the legs of the person going around the saddle. Saddle joints are also biaxial. The biggest, most famous one is between the uh, metacarpal one and the trapezium, which gives us the ability to move the thumb inwards, the opposition movement. And then the ball and socket joint, the most uh, versatile of the joints. It's triaxial, allows for huge range of motion. We have a large rounded structure, a head fitting into a big socket, ball and socket. Uh, abduction, adduction, flexion, extension, hyperextension, circumduction in a circle, lateral medial rotation, amazing amount of movement at these triaxial ball and socket joints. All right, temporal mandibular joint is one of the joints that you need to know the name of and the basic structures. It has lots of ligaments. It has the uh, uh, mandible condylar process fitting into a temporal bone. It's mandibular fossa. There's an articular disc within that joint, particular capsule, ligaments. It allows for three kinds of movements, lateral movement, side to side, uh, elevation and depression of the jaw, and also protraction and retraction of the mandible. Uh, you have the shoulder joint, which is a ball and socket joint, the head of the humerus fitting into the glenoid cavity of the scapula. There is, of course, the articular capsule, the ligament, the glenoid labrum around the uh, glenoid cavity, and some bursae and tendon sheath. This allows for all kinds of movements, flexion, extension, hyperextension, circumduction, lateral medial rotation, abduction, and adduction. Then you have the elbow joint. The elbow joint is a hinge joint. There are three bones that come together here. The trochlea of the humerus articulates with the trochlear notch of the ulna. The capitulum of the humerus articulates with the head of the radius. There is an articular capsule, ligaments, and a few bursae. It allows for flexion and extinction, the niaxial. Then you have the hip joint, another ball and socket joint. It allows for a lot of movement. You have the head of the femur fitting into the acetabulum of the osteoxy. Uh, there is the articular capsule, various ligaments, including one inside of the articular capsule, and then the acetabular labrum running around the uh, acetabulum. All right, movement there again, triaxial, flexion, extension, hyperextension, circumduction, abduction, adduction, medial and lateral rotation. Uh, then we get down to the ankle joint. Ankle joint is a hinge joint with the medial malleolus and the lateral malleolus of the tibia and fibula articulate with the Headless. There's also many ligaments, the articular capsule, allowing for dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Dorsiflexion, pointing your toes up, plantar flexion, pointing your toes down or stepping, standing on your tiptoes. And finally, you have the knee joint, a modified hinge joint. This is the most complicated joint in the body, and you have to know everything about it. You have to know that it's the femur, has its two condyles, articulating the condyles of the tibia. And then the femur also articulates with the patella, and the patella has an attachment to the tibial tuberosity via the patellar uh, ligament. Uh, so here you can see the suprapatellar bursa, the prepatellar bursa, and the infrapatellar bursa that are important for the knee joint. You'll note their names are based on where they are compared to the patella. You have, of course, the lateral and medial meniscus. Meniscus are part of a cartilage disc that are shaped sort of like the letter C. And uh, they help to position the condyles of the fibula. I mean, not fibula, the femur. Uh, then you have, of course, the articular capsule, which is partially made up of the articular cartilage on the surfaces of the femur, the tibia, and the patella. Um, you also have the quadriceps tendon going from the quadriceps femoris muscle group to the patella, and then the patellar ligament going down to the tibial tuberosity. You have the Posterior cruciate ligament and the anterior cruciate ligament, they are attaching the femur to the tibia. They are found inside the articular capsule. Outside articular capsule, you have the fibular collateral ligament going from the femur to the fibula, and the tibial collateral ligament going from the tibia to the uh, femur. Uh, yeah. But also outside of that, you have the wider lateral patellar reticulum, which is basically a fancy ligament, and the medial patellar retiniculum. Again, they are uh, ligaments. Movements at the knee joint, flexion and extension. Yep, that's it. All right, sometimes someone suffers an injury to the lateral side of the knee. This leads to damage to the uh, medial meniscus, the anterior cruciate ligament, and the tibiocolateral ligament. This is a serious injury that has to be repaired via surgery. 
Uh, people who have uh, worn down their knee joints can also get replacements of the knee joints. This occurs by shaving down the femur, the tibia, and patella and putting metal or plastic um, structures onto those bones and then repositioning them. Now, hopefully the knee will work properly and not cause the person any pain or discomfort. Joint disorders include sprains. Sprains is when a ligament is stretched or maybe torn just a little bit, but we should be able to heal on its own. A dislocation or luxation when the bones are forced out of like the alignment and they have to be put back into position called re being reduced. There's torn cartilage or severely torn ligaments and tendons. Uh, when this happens, uh, this needs uh, arthroscopic surgery because these things will not heal on their own. And then, of course, arthritis, inflammation and degeneration of the joints, includes osteoarthritis, where joints just wear over, down over time. Everybody's going to get it someday. Rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease where the immune system attacks the joints, uh, especially synovial joints, very painful and can cause enough swelling to knock the bones out of position. And sometimes those joints even ossify or become just bone. Uh, Gallia arthritis, where uric acid accumulates in certain joints, such as in the great toe, and Lyme disease, a bacterial infection causing injury and pain in the joints. Be sure to learn all the motions joints can have and how those motions occur. That's very important as well. In fact, I'll just go back to this one. So you have flexion, extension, hyperextension. Uh, so imagine you got a straight line 180 degrees when your leg is pointing straight down, say you're standing. When you move it so that the leg is moving anteriorly, you're actually making that joint go from 180 degrees to 120, 130. Maybe you're able to get it all the way to 90 degrees. That is flexion, making the joint's angle smaller. Then when you move the leg back down, that's extension. You're going from that 90 degrees to 120 back to 180. And then in ball and socket joints, you can even continue to move the limb backwards so that it goes beyond 180 to 200, 230, who knows? That's hyperextension, flexion extension based on angles. Circumduction is a circular motion with the distal end of the limb. Abduction, 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 moving the limb away from the midline, abduction, moving it down toward the midline. Rotation, medial rotation and lateral rotation, you're just rotating the limb at that joint. I hope that helped. We're done.